happened a minute ago. The sky is falling, everybody. The sky <laughs> is falling, okay? And I read a comment which was absolutely hilarious. First of all, it's nothing but love, okay? It's all video games. Guys, like this video if you just want good games, man. Dislike the video if you don't want good games, man. But I saw a comment. A guy said, if PlayStation Executive were to fart on Dreamcast guy's face, Dreamcast guy is gonna say that's a wonderful perfume. I, I, I cannot make this up okay the video that you're about to see is gonna blow your mind yeah it's one of those videos guys uh oh roll it what's up gamers dreamcast guy here and today i want to talk about the xbox games showcase that's happening in just a couple days because i feel like there is a tremendous amount of pressure on this event i think it can't just be good yeah. it can't just be great yeah. This yeah. needs to be perfect, and I want to explain why, because yeah, at this point, but... it feels like a lot of Xbox fanboys are completely Damn. giving up on the brand. Yeah. I mean, the last... He just gaslighting the Xbox homies like that. What? 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 A couple months have been filled with news, like every Xbox exclusive is coming yeah. to the PlayStation 5, yeah. they're closing studios, talks uh -huh. about the Xbox being so underpowered and sales being so low, a lot of studios are straight up just not even wanting to put games on Xbox, but let me break down why the showcase is specifically so specifically. vital. Yeah. Are you ready? Here we go. Yeah, yeah. Hi, uh -oh. hope you're having a great day. If you could, please give this like video this a like video, and subscribe yeah, if you yeah, haven't yeah, already. Yeah, 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 Look, yeah, 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 I actually yeah, 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 uh, If this video happens to get 3,000 likes before the showcase, I'll actually live stream my reaction to it okay. over here on YouTube. So if it happens okay, to be... Okay, let's not like the video then. <laughs> no, let's like the video. I need the salt. I need the salt, man. I need the drama. I need the salt. Now, here's the thing, right? A lot of the Xbox fanboys right now, and that's a fair thing, okay? A lot of the Xbox fanboys are saying, well, the recent PlayStation uh, State of Play has been so dog water that now you're saying that Xbox gotta do better, like, what the hell? Yeah, the fair or fair comment, right? Like, I'm seeing that, and yeah, the recent State of Play sucked massive Johnson, okay? It sucked massive D, bruh. Okay, it wasn't that good. But but I feel like that we should all just come together, right? Like, yeah, banter is fine, jokes are fine, like, I love this all too, like, hey, that that's why we're checking this out, right? But, and, and I'm sure like you're watching this because you love it too, quite frankly, and that's fair, okay? But what I'm trying to say here is that we should just call it out, bro. Like PlayStation is sucking massive Ds right now. Xbox is sucking massive Ds right now. On both sides, where are the games, bro? Like serious, honest question, where are the games? I'm not talking about the games that are already out, okay? Like Halo, yeah, Xbox ruined it. Helldivers, okay, yeah, PlayStation is trying to ruin it on the PC side of things, and they those sick is banned in 170 plus countries. What the hell? We covered that drama too, okay? Uh, Helldivers, but other than that, Helldivers is considered very good. Yeah, Xbox shut down the studios. Yeah, Xbox was hit with a lot of bad news recently. More so than PlayStation, objectively speaking, okay? Not getting feelings involved. Sega's just, just wanna uh, move on the, the, the feels, not the reels, right? Like, yeah, that's exactly where we at. We have a lot of uh, delusional fanboys right now. Being a fan is perfectly fine, but, like, delusional fanboys, I mean, they don't get to see, uh, like, there's always the other side, too. What I'm trying to say here is that both PlayStation and Xbox just not doing too hot, and Jeff Keighley just came up says that he, he he said that lower your expectations for summer's game fest yeah there we have it there we have it in other words translation ding 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 translation it means that the game the showcase is probably gonna be bad don't expect anything and i personally don't know what to expect either other than black ops 6 reveal which might actually be good or decent yeah i, I think black ops 6 is the only one that might act truly be a big event or maybe xbox is also gonna have one or two big exclusive to share and blow people minds away we're gonna wait and see but generally speaking like yeah where are the games where are the games and the fact that jeff keighley is the host i'm not listen i'm not blaming jeff keighley here he's the host right a lot of people like him a lot of people don't like him i'm not even talking about it the fact of the matter here is that he's the host and uh, he probably know what's gonna get revealed because he's gonna get a copy of it right and the fact that he's saying lower your expectations, that speaks volume. That speaks volume. Really good. Well, chat can laugh at me. But this is coming up on Sunday at 10 a.m. Uh, this is going to be a double feature. We're going to get the Xbox Game Showcase and the Call of Duty Direct. Now, yeah, yeah, I noticed yeah. that this stream. is definitely getting some extra We're going to live stream. Hit the bell, boys. Hit the pressure bell. Because Summer Games Fest sounds like it's not going to be very good this year. Oh, he showed and it. So, oh, he showed it himself. Okay, bro. All the heads of Xbox, from Aaron Greenberg and Phil Spencer, they're all chiming in and saying, hey, this is the thing to watch. In fact, right after the event, Phil Spencer is sitting down for an extended interview with IGN. Now, what? let me start with the fact 
that that's I actually think this is a bad sign. We have seen a huge amount of silence, specifically from Phil Spencer, oh, that, yeah, after yeah. all the bad news has been coming yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. the fact that Arcane and Tango got shut down. Ever since then, we have heard literally zero from Phil Spencer. And I think this is going to be yeah, a yeah, very yeah, controlled yeah. PR statement. I think it's going to come out and try and basically spin the fact that Xbox is not yet dead. Microsoft isn't just picking them apart for extra bits of raw profits. But uh, uh, Xbox is dead, though, you know? <laughs> Okay, okay, uh, Phil, according to you, but but yeah, Phil Spencer needs to come out, right? Because he let Sarah Bond get all the heat, bro. Sarah Bond was, yeah, the, the she, her pronoun lady. Yeah, that yeah, she, she got all the heat. Beyond this, part of the inspiration is that I've noticed a lot of the most dedicated Xbox defenders seem to be laser focused on how this event will affect the future of Xbox. Like, this is Paris. Now, I'm not insulting the guy, but he is a person that is very quick to defend anything that Xbox does for the most part. I mean, anything they do, uh, porting games, getting rid of exclusives, jacking up prices, no matter what, he loves it. But he was saying, I am genuinely intrigued by the Xbox showcase. This year feels like a pivotal moment for the brand. And as a yeah. gamer, what to expect the rest of this generation and moving forward towards the next one? I, I think the, the best games, I'm, I'm talking like both PlayStation and Xbox, I think good games are probably going to come when we are about to get PlayStation 6 and the next Xbox. And at that time, d -Sec is gonna be like, yo, you need to buy PlayStation 6 because PlayStation 5 cannot handle it, right? Or Xbox Series X cannot handle it. You need to buy the next Xbox, bro. Yeah, where are the games? Honest question. And, and seriously though, how do you guys feel about this one? What in the comments if you feel like that this generation in comparison to Xbox One, PS4, PS3, and Xbox 360, has been slow and no games in comparison to that of course we have games but you know i'm talking metaphorically speaking right uh, we're, we're having a discussion two in the comments if you're saying hey everything is beautiful everything is fine uh, yeah it's gonna be interesting to see and if you're gonna say two and you're gonna say yeah everything is fine i have a lot of good games to play i i, I got an honest question did were you there when ps3 and xbox 360 was out or this is your first time owning a PS5 or Series X. Because if this is your first time playing on PS5 and Series X and you're a new gamer or yeah, you just started gaming. Okay, then I can understand. Then I can understand if this is your first time. But those of you that played games all the way back when PS3 and 360 was out, I I'm very curious. Oh, hell yeah. I'm very curious to see what, what you guys gotta say. I, I, I'm ready to read paragraphs on that because, yeah, uh, yeah, honestly, bro, comparison to PS3 and 360 days, what we're getting, what the, the, the crap that we're getting, it's nothing. It's nada. It's nothing, bro. It's a disaster fest right now. Minus a couple of good games here and there, minus a couple of games here, but... But back then, we were getting games after games after games after games. I feel like that that's why I'm spoiled right now. That's uh, that, that's probably why I'm like, eee, you're just toxic. Eee, you're just problematic. That's what they always use. Uh, these are the words they always use, right? I'm sure we'll see a bunch of great games, but in my opinion, the bigger questions will be about the future of their hardware, services, and platform strategies. I'm excited for answers next week. Now, he, okay. he basically follows up and says, hey, don't spin this for a negative. I'm saying I'm excited and that this pivotal moment is a positive but I think it's difficult not to read the tension in this tweet. The fact okay. that, honestly, I'm not sure we're even going to get future Xbox hardware. Like, there is talks that they have already developed the next Xbox series console. There is talks that they're working on some sort of their own version of the Steam Deck. Like, they're going to have some sort of, like, Xbox handheld that plays Game Pass. But I think that seeing their past actions, this year, 2024, has been so bad for Xbox. <laughs> Absolutely super rock bottom game sales. The fact that their exclusives are just not being played by anybody. Like Hellblade being at 185 <laughs> concurrent players. Not even 1,000 people in the oh, world are playing no. this on Steam. Is okay, on this one, he right, dude. Guys, I'm sorry. He right. On, on this one, where I was like, slapping my head of course like bro he gaslighting the xbox fanboys he's like the sky is falling boys the sky is falling the end is nigh lock yourselves in the basement the martians are here yeah so he's like a dooms and dooms doomsday guy yeah but holy crap so hellblade to <laughs> 185 people playing right now 
Holy crap, what is going on in gaming? Yeah, and, and Microsoft didn't even promote this game. Suckers didn't even know the game is out. I, I bet you, like, some suckers still don't even know that this game is out. Suckers don't even know this game exists. It's like one of those things, right? Like, you think your crush is thinking about you, but your crush don't even know you exist. Yeah, you know, yeah, exactly. You think your crush is talking about you, thinking about you, uh, getting getting wet and all that, but she don't even know you exist, bro. Yeah, I I'm sorry. It it's like one of those things. So Sigus don't even know this game exists because of how bad the marketing from Xbox has been. On this part, I do agree. Phil Spencer gave up. He gave up right then and there. Xbox as a whole, they gave up on this game. They're like, hey, y'all suckers can have it. Y'all suckers can have it. Suckers go be suckers, okay? So they, they pulled out, yeah. Completely bonkers. But I've also noticed a, a lot of Xbox people now are just trying to defend it, saying, hey, our games are good. Our studios are badass. Stop trying to tear down Xbox. Now, okay. part of my thing here is that I want to be excited about Xbox. I, I think that some of their projects have just unlimited potential cap. like cap. two of the things i actually hope we see the most cap. at this xbox game showcase are avowed in indiana jones but for opposite reasons which is that avowed has already won me over it, it looks okay. like very colorful skyrim as a guy who's played skyrim and beat it like 50 billion times just give me new skyrim and i'm happy and indiana jones i think it just doesn't look that great but i'm not a big indiana jones fan so yeah. i want to see more gameplay it's for modern gaming audience that that's what they said uh, uh, yeah they said it's for modern gaming audience so if you didn't know, right, modern modern gaming audience. To explain why it's going to be so great, but I almost feel like Dang. this slate, this set of games, Towerborn, Age of Mythology, more flight simulator updates, is this really the future of Xbox? Is this really a... Yeah, yeah, flight simulator is actually fun, though. I play that on the, the PC sometimes. <laughs> It is, it is actually good. It's uh, like, quite frankly, it's one of the only Xbox game that I own. Or Microsoft game, rather. Xbox game, rather. Yeah, whatever. Uh, that's the only game I play, and uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Three trillion dollar company. Like, yeah. Microsoft is worth... Uh, and now Call of Duty, because it's theirs as well. <laughs> Call of Duty is a... Call of Duty is a first party title. It's a first party title. So yeah, Call of Duty and Microsoft Flight Simulator. Billions of dollars, and they're just putting out updates for Flight Simulator? Okay, but Bruh. I think part of the reason that this Bruh. is just so talked about is something Cryobrass said here. I, I feel like he nailed it. The Xbox Game Showcase is prominently connected with Call of Duty. It's yep. talked about Black Ops Direct everywhere. everywhere I look. Many, many eyes will be on the showcase, even by people that probably are not yet playing in the Xbox ecosystem. Oh, absolutely. Call absolutely. of Duty is a very casual game. Uh, I've said that in the past, that even though it is one of the most mainstream releases ever, it's super profitable, it's super giant. I always think that there are separate kinds of games. There's games that are more niche, that are more artsy or in-depth, stuff with crazy leveling systems or intricate climbing or whatever, those games are not going to have the same mainstream appeal that Call of Duty does. Call of Duty is one of those games that I feel like everybody knows about it. Yeah. Grandmas yeah, yeah, know yeah. about it. it. It's just one of those things that's very ubiquitous. It was definitely smart on Xbox's behalf to make this the Xbox Call of Duty showcase, but this yeah. extra amount of pressure, of attention... And, and apparently, like, Call of Duty is going to be towards the end, right? Or, or maybe they can show their trailer right in the beginning and be like, okay, stay tuned till the end of the show and there's gonna be another stream black Ops 6 is basically gonna be the main thing by the looks of it and they already are hyping it up they're teasing it a and what we're hearing is that trek has been working on this game for like all by the time it comes out it's gonna be four years so i think the showcase that we're gonna see it it's gonna be like what what we see is like three plus years of development footage that we're about to see during the show so this game better be good because i didn't buy modern warfare 2023 <laughs> Yeah, that's the last call of that's the only Call of Duty I didn't buy ever since I got involved in Call of Duty all the way back in Black Ops 1. So I hope this game is good. I'm not even talking about this now being Xbox or PlayStation or whatever. I'm just talking about from a game standpoint, from a gamer standpoint, and, and the, for the sake of the game as well. Like, I hope it's a good game, bro. I, and I'm a, I'm a fan of Call of Duty. I absolutely, I am. I've been buying every year. I didn't buy last year because the game sucked. Right, the premise that people that play the game, they said that it's uh, actually much better than anticipated, much better than what they thought. Gameplay was fun. Okay, fair. I mean, but but I didn't buy because the premise was just not there and I didn't want it to just pay that, pay that much, right? $70, crazy, man. It was, it's, it was supposed to be a DLC, a patch, bruh. You, you feel what I'm saying? It should have been like $30 top. Make it even free, bro. Like, what the hell? 
So I hope this game is actually good. Like the video if you agree. Or dislike yeah. it not. I wonder if this will pay off in a positive sense or a negative sense. Like if that extra attention is just going to make more casual fans realize how bad of a position that Xbox is in. Now, we don't know the length of the Xbox showcase. A lot of their previous ones have been about two hours long. I think this one's probably going to be about two hours long. I think it's going to yeah. be an hour of Xbox and an hour of Call of Duty. But Maybe. I feel like if it's not... Uh, uh, not perhaps like 30 minutes only, like one hour for Call of Duty. What are they going to show us? Like, think about it for a second, right? Come on now, bro. They cannot just keep on showing us the friendly UAV online for an hour, okay? Okay, yeah, sure. 10 minutes gameplay, maybe. Uh, our trailer, 2-3 minutes tops. Replay their trailer, 2-3 minutes tops again. Bruh. So now we're like 15-16 minutes in the showcase, right? Uh, zombies trailer, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, if they're talking on the stage, 5 minutes talk. Bringing the devs in. Tw now we're talking like 20-25 minutes. Yeah, I can see it be 30 minutes. Or, or maybe... For the rest of it, they're just going to talk about the bundles and the microtransactions. You never know. 10 out of 10 perfect. People are just going to remember all the things that Xbox has done wrong. When I see tweets like this from Clio Brow and from other extremely dedicated Xbox fans, like this is an yeah. Xbox fan account and it's straight up just highlighting the failures of Microsoft. The fact that they just continue to screw over their people that are trying to buy their games, to play their games, or in that's a lot true, of cases, even true, the people true. that are making Bruh. their games. It sucks. That's I true, that's true. But ladies and gentlemen, the sky is falling, as you heard it. But check out this video on the screen. Yeah, a, a lot of the Xbox fanboys might have not liked this video, but for you, I just for you, man, I got it. Because apparently PlayStation has went woke. Yeah. So we're gonna, like, try to cover both sides there, guys. Check out this video on the screen. I swear to God, man, the clip in this one, it's gonna blow your mind. PlayStation is really doing that. A lot of people are upset. If you've already seen it, then check out the video on the left.